Hi all, and welcome back to your channel. So I'm at Bramley Moor this morning with my um, weekly updates on how the build's going on. And uh, just driving past, I can see, you know, it's, it's looking more and more like a football ground every time I drive past it now. New sections are going up all the time. And um, the shape's almost there. Um, as you can see at the bottom down here, where this new stand is, there is loads of work gone on there since I was last year. Um, so that's starting to get built up now. So that's all going to be joined up very, very soon. That by the looks of it. And you can see a little roadway where they can still get access in and out. Just down there. Okay. Um, and as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, please comment. Um, comments make the content. As you know with my videos and subscribe if you like it if you like the channel um, i haven't been that active on youtube this week i've, uh, I've been busy um, just a quick one i've i specialize in grassroots football photography basically so kids football season's kicked off this weekend it should, should have been last weekend but with the the queen's eye and it was all put on hold and all kicked off this weekend so uh, i'll just put an example on the screen now of what i've been doing one or two pictures there. Okay. Right. Let's get a fly around. And um and we'll get talking. I bought some talking points that have been that have been brought up. Don't worry, it won't be about the, about me this week. <laughs> You'll be glad to hear. So yeah, the most waste been going on here, any? Look at that. Tons of it going on there. It's amazing how fat how quick they get this stuff up. So, uh, so as always, we'll we'll fly around the cranes. This south stand's really taking shape now. Look at it. Looks amazing. And the drone really doesn't give it. it any justice of how high this stand looks off the grounds because I'm in the air looking at it oh yeah so let's get a look across to where the pitch is going to go so um, you see where the containers are in the middle because we know what these are now this is where all the, the, the roof trusses are going to be getting built on top of them for weeks it had me stumps as to what it was but the thing I don't like doing is going on Everton websites or anything like that to find out what is going on. I, I, I like to try and find out. It's it, it's something to talk about, isn't it? It's just um, it makes it more interesting to find out if you like. Let's try and get a. Try and get round as fast as I can. But also taking enough time for everyone to have a look at what's going on down there. Okay, these corners look look at these corners now, they're really built up. Yeah, it's gonna be brilliant this. Gonna be some stadium. Okay, let's get to some port talking points anyway. Um Where will the away fans be um situated? D does anyone know that because I I don't know, I can't answer that question, so I've left up one blank in the comments. So if anyone knows, let us know. So there's any noises of van driving might pass me. Yeah. So someone's asking where the away fans going to be. Uh, someone. There's a few more people asking when the plan completion is going to be. I've I've already mentioned this in other videos, but if you use this channel, then you, you you're obviously not going to have seen them. So the plans uh, completion. As I don't know the exact completion date, but it's going to be ready for the 24-25 season. So. 
you can assume com completion of the ground will be just before then but it's it's pretty much going to look like a football ground well before then okay um okay the um the north stand so down here so let's just fly down because a few people had concerns about this and, and i had questions about it as well it looks like a very narrow walkway down here and some people are saying it's just as wide as the Gladys Street but also I've found out now that people have mentioned in the comments that down here so let's get out a bit underneath the stand is going to be a walkway so it's going to be a lot wider than you think it's just going to be <coughs> sorry about that most of it's going to be covered basically so it's, it's going to be quite a wide walkway but it's going to be under the stand if you like Oh yeah, people ask him about permissions to fly around Bramley Moor, right? Um, when I started this, I didn't seek permission. I just started doing it, uh, just as a hobby, basically. Um, but when um, someone from Everton saw me videos and they got in, in contact with me and said that there's a not like laws or, but they, they, they want us to stay within parameters of uh, not going over the pitch staying away from the cranes and stuff so I've stuck to that for them and uh, I plan to ok so um, yeah so you, you, you don't really need um, permission as such but if Everton know you're doing it, then, then they're going to be in contact and ask you, ask you to do, uh, stay within the boundaries of what they want. And I understand that because um, in an email off Everton, um, just get, get a look over the ground there, they've, they've said that they're going to, um, that the builders, the builders, will, the, the, the workforce will be told to stop if there's uh, drones seen flying in the area while they're working so it's just going to halt the stadium's progress if you're flying outside the tires that they want you to fly um basically when, if, if people are working they don't they don't want you flying here there's a guy over there's a guy getting his car looking at me all weird because i'm talking to myself yeah so i get what they're saying i think it's a health and safety point of view really but Yeah, the site will be shut down if there's drones seen in the area, basically. Um, other people are asking me to do more than one update a week. Um, as, as I know other people do it, I just don't see any benefit in it, really. But let me know in the comments if you want me to do it, I'll do it. But, but like, I, I like to see a lot of change going on. So... If if you want the the extra weekly update, let me know. I'll I'll do it. I'm I'm not I'm not a fan of it. I prefer to do the one and see a lot of change going on. But or maybe if something's happened, like there's, there's been a major change, then I'll shoot down and, and get footage of it. But apart from that, I don't know. Let let me know what you think. Um, so I mentioned about the uh, when I mentioned about cal uh, putting a calendar out last time. Um. Someone suggested why don't I uh, do a calendar of the progress and that was a good idea so what I will do 12 months before completion I'll, I'll get photographs monthly okay and I'm um, just going to do my me, uh, me little sweep along that stand make sure I'm right <laughs> I'm not too close to that water yeah so I'm going to do um, there we go a little bit closer staying over the water getting it all in so yeah um, 12 months before completion I, I might do a, a photograph once a month and then put that um, as a calendar once the the stand's completed 
uh, the grounds completed sorry that's a good idea by someone so th thanks for that suggestion but I'm, I'm going to have a lot going on with, with me photography um, most people um, wishing me luck with me uni course again you know what I really appreciate it just finished my second week of my second year and we're still um, we're still working on the um, the four assignments that we've been given between to be completed between now and December or between now and Christmas basically they want these assignments handed in uh, I will be doing videos on them uh, I just haven't had time just yet because we're I say with the football photography starting, I've just been busy uh, taking photographs, and YouTube's even had to take it um, go on a back burner for a bit. Um, someone said, "Can I video?" This, this is a great idea. This, and I hope no, I hope no one nicks me idea, but I'm just going to try and do it tomorrow. Oh, it's not my idea; it's someone else's idea. They, they, they might have put it on other people's um, videos. Can I do? Uh, an overhead view of both grounds so Bramley Moor and Goodson Park so from basically say from the centre circle take a top down view of it it'll have to be when no one's working here and um, just to show the size of the footprint from Goodson compared to Goodson Park and Bramley Moor Dock basically which it's a good idea, so I'll, I'll try and get that done tomorrow and try and get it online at some point, either tomorrow or the day after. Okay, so what else have we got? Someone said, How would how they moderate the large body of water? Um, I think they're talking about climate change and all that. I say, I, I, I try and keep political things out of this, but this is you know. It's a genuine question, so I think they mean the Mersey on um, stormy days, because we all know that this doesn't half splash up. The glory going past the way for that to pass. Yeah, so on um, on stormy days, the Mersey barely gets choppy, very choppy. And it starts to get very splashy down there. But I think, you know, it used to be a dock. It's 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 had hundreds of years of of stormy weather, so I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. You see that the lands between the dock wall and the edge of the stadium, that's a big distance. Plus they're gonna put a canal in there, they're gonna reinstate the canal in there, aren't they? So I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. So I don't think we need to worry about that just yet. I'm nearly at the end guys, just bear with me. I say I don't like these to go on too long. Yeah, no, that's it. That's everything covered on uh, that one. So some talking points, some questions from um the subscribes and some from yourself. I say if you like the video. Um, consider subscribing to my channel if you're if you're first time viewer and as always please comment and like the videos it, it helps me it helps the channel as always okay so i'll leave it there guys and i will uh i'll speak to you all soon take care of yourselves